What up? My hair looks crazy, but yo, uh, yo, I get a lot of um, a lot of messages and emails of people just ranting at me, man. Just just ranting about their targeting, okay? Of gang stalking. A lot of people probably don't know what I'm talking about right now. What the fuck is gang stalking? Go look up gang stalking. It's not really what it appears to be, the way it sounds. It's not a, has nothing to do with a gang. Well, eh, can't even say that. But either way, um, I get for the last like three, four years, my inbox has been flooded, my emails been flooded, the comments. People don't even talk to me. They just rant at me. They just complain about their targeting and everything that they're going through. And I get it. It's because they want to talk to somebody that understands what they're going through and has been through it. But my thing is, I already went through that phase of freaking out, telling everybody, you know, what I'm going through and and, and ranting at everybody. It's like it's like you it's like the person doesn't even read your post. They don't even listen to what you're saying. They just jump on the comments. Man, I had a helicopter fucking circling around me. Blah blah blah. Man, you got to cut that shit out. You got to cut that shit the fuck out because that's not going to get you nowhere. That's not going to help your targeting. That's not going to make awareness happen. Motherfucking people have been talking about gang stalking and, you know, targeted individuals for, for, for years and years. That's not it. The way you do it is you experience it. You talk about your experience. You say you don't go and rant on every single person's post on Facebook and freak out in their inbox and not even say, hey, how are you? Like, you just rant off, like, literally, like, I already know you or something. I don't even know you. You know what I'm saying? But I get it. But I'm a, I'm, I'm somebody that's a problem solver, man. I don't want to sit here for the next 5, 10 years and complain about shit that's happening to me or me personally being targeted, you know, intentionally for, for certain things that even a lot of the shit I can't prove. It, it will make you sound crazy, but that's okay. You know, it doesn't mean it's not the truth. It is the truth. This shit does happen. It happens on a spiritual level, a governmental level, a police law level. It happens on all uh, all types of levels. Gang stalking. And being targeted for, for uh, various reasons. And it uh, happens on a civilian level. It happens, like I said, it, none of that matters. What My point being is that I'm a problem solver. I'm trying to find a resolution. I'm not sitting there for the next five years bitching and complaining and fucking freaking out, spazzing on people. Oh my God, you should have fucking seen what happened to me yesterday. This motherfucker was wearing red and he was falling. Like, who cares, bro? That shit's not going to fucking benefit you. It's not going to help you. You know what I mean? It's not going to leverage you. It's not going to prosper you. It's not going to evolve you as a man or a woman. You know what I'm saying? You got to look within. You got to, you know, you got to cut all that shit out, man. Straight up. Stop bitching. Stop complaining. Fucking do something about it. And, oh, how, and then motherfuckers, you know, be like, oh, well, there's nothing we can do. And da, da, da. Yes, there is. That's why it's happening to you. Okay? The reason why you're targeted is because you have you're unique in some way and you have the power you have a certain type of energy or power or consciousness that that makes you a threat you know to the establishment that has another agenda okay and it's not to to help the people let's just say that it appears to be that way it's 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 portrayed that way but it's not i'm saying so but there are ways to prevail. There's ways to prosper. There's ways to overcome gang stalking and, and, and being targeted. And, you know, and that's what I'm focused on. I'm tired of talking about what happened and what's happening and what how it affected me. And, you know, that's not, it didn't get me nowhere. But I come up with solutions. And as a whole, there's a whole demographic of people, a whole audience, a whole... Uh, army of people that are targeted individuals and victims of gang stalking and and you know systematic corruption and governmental corruption and and you know police corruption corruption within the law within the system you know and there's there's, there's you know there's ways to overcome man and and it's spiritual too and if if you deny your creator you know then <laughs> you're a sitting duck you can't overcome, and that's probably the majority of these people that are spazzing out because they haven't figured it out yet. That the power is within you, okay? You can overcome this, this, okay? You know what I'm saying? There's ways to maneuver, you know what I'm saying? And uh, you have to focus on that and nothing else, or else you will never prevail. So, 
It doesn't matter what happened or what's happening. Acknowledge it, speak about it once, and don't speak about it again. Because you're manifesting it even further into your existence. You're making it worse. You're manifesting things into your existence, feeding to your issue. Don't give it energy. I know it's hard, trust me. That's that's. I know how upsetting that sounds to you. Because it made me spaz out too and fucking freak out and smash a whole bunch of shit when people told me that... Uh, it seems a part of the gang stalking when people start saying shit like that to you. Like, motherfucker, how, how do you fucking ignore this shit? That's impossible. How do you overcome that shit? This is impossible. Blah, blah. Well, again, you know, it's either you're a winner or a loser. You're a survivor. You're a warrior. Or you're a fucking loser, man. Pick which side. You want to say that I can't, I can't, you know, oh, there's no way out. Well, then fuck off then. You're going to die, stupid. Go die, dumbass. Or fight. Or fight, get intelligent, fix your lifestyle, change your fucking lifestyle, relocate, go live off the fucking land, be outside. Go fucking be homeless if you haven't been homeless. I know that's not a good idea being a TI, you know what I'm saying? But you know what? It's going to make you stronger. It's going to make your mind You're going to go through shit and it's going to either fucking break you or build you and that's your choice. So you need to figure this shit out. This is a war on you, on your fucking mind. And it's been a war on you and on your mind. And you can't overcome it. You can strengthen your mind. You can change your mind. You can change your frequency. All these things that people are saying, oh, the MK Ultra. First of all, go watch the documentary I just uploaded on MK Ultra, okay? The MK Ultra doesn't is not a fucking frequency that comes from a mile away and beams your fucking brain and taps in. It's not what it is, okay? It's electric therapy that they were using, you know, to fucking brainwash people, but it's close range. It's like they put something on your head. They don't fucking tap into your fucking brain with thoughts. That's demonic. People can't tell the difference in between evil man-made technology, frequency technology, voice to skull that everybody's talking about. <laughs> Bro, this is demonic. It is satanic. If you don't believe in Satan, if you don't believe in the devil, if you don't believe in demons, spirits, and any of that shit, yeah, you're gonna you're gonna call it a fucking man-made technology voice the fucking skull. Are you dumb? If you had God, if you had the spirit of of Christ, you th bro, frequencies cannot penetrate your fucking skull, dumbass. Voice the skull don't work. You know what I'm saying? It can't get you, okay? You have to tap into your higher self. You have to tap into your spirituality. You have to tap in. You have to seek God out, man, because that's the only force and the only power. Jesus Christ was the first targeted individual ever. It's going to piss a lot of people off that aren't, that don't even believe in Jesus or mock it or whatever. I don't care. You're a fool. That's why you're still bitching and complaining. And that's why I overcame the fucking program. And that's why I'm dressed so well and I'm looking good and I was homeless and now I'm not. Okay, that's, I'm, I was fucking health, I was losing my mind, I almost killed my fucking self, okay, I lost everything, the government stopped printing my ID, they cut my fucking income off, I was about to fucking die in the street, even the homeless shelter kicked me out, they started fucking with me, throwing my clothes out for no reason, out of nowhere, digging through my shit, fucking all types of fucked up mind fuckery to attack my mind, to disrupt my fucking frequency, to fucking fuck me up, so I smash someone and go to jail, then they're laughing at me, I'm in jail, and all of a sudden, a uh, charge comes out of nowhere from 10 years ago, and they say well, they have evidence against you that you did something, and it's going to put you in jail for 20 years. You can get framed. It's all a trap. Don't respond. Don't react. Don't give it attention. Overcome it. Have endurance. Jesus teaches all, us all this. The Bible teaches all this stuff. You can go ahead and say contradict. You can go ahead and say whatever you want. That's why I'm doing better than you, and you're fucking not. That's why I got fucking, you know, that's why my money's up now. That's why my fucking shoes cost $300. That's why I'm okay and you're not. You know why? Because I overcame. I fucking outsmarted the system. I jumped around, bounced around, relocated so many fucking times. It threw the entire fucking program off. It became not fun anymore and beneficial for the establishment to try to burden me anymore. They lose. I fucking win. I didn't die. I didn't kill myself. I didn't fucking... I lost all my money. I lost my ID. I couldn't even get a job. I couldn't fucking... You know... I applied for literally hundreds of jobs in a three-year fucking time frame. And I only got three calls in three fucking years. And I hit every... Bro, I went across British Columbia from fucking Victoria to Nanaimo to Parksville to Union Bay to Courtney. I applied for jobs in all these places. I was homeless and I was trying to establish myself. Okay? I went to the mainland. I went to Kamloops, Vernon, Kelowna... Um, Cam Luce, Brandon, what's the other one I went to? Either way, oh, Penticton, okay? So, 
and I was homeless all across Canada, from Toronto to Hamilton to Kitchener to Peterborough to, to Waterloo. All across Canada, I was homeless. I experienced all types of fucking attacks and all types of mind fuckery and, and, and corruption within the homeless shelters, within the police, within the fucking uh, court system. They had me charged for a little bit. The fucking Crown wanted two years in prison, two years in jail for me, for uttering death threats, for somebody that threatened me over text, threatened me. And I said, they're like, oh, you're going to get jumped or people are going to come for you. And I was like, I'll fucking kill everybody. I was like, send them fucking send it bro I'll kill them cause I will if people fucking threaten my life you wanna come fucking you think you wanna fucking fist fight with me stupid you're gonna get fucking stabbed in your throat you idiot I've done it before I'll do it again I fucking stab people you wanna play with guns I can go get a gun too I don't give a fuck this is a real life okay this is not a fucking game there's no such thing as a law okay that doesn't exist telling us that we can't defend ourselves we can't fight we can't kill that's a fucking illusion if, if you you can't do it for no reason. Your intent cannot be to go and murder somebody. But if people think they're going to hurt me or fuck me up, I'm not going halfway. I ain't fist fighting with you. You think you stupid? I'm 28. I'm almost 30 years old. You think I'm going to fist fight and then I fall down, hit my head and fucking die because I hit my head on a rock or some shit? Bitch, you're not even going to have that opportunity. I'll blow your face off. I'll shoot you right in your fucking face. And I'll do the manslaughter charge. You know what I'm saying? But th th that's, that's, that's relevant. But see, the, sy the system... And this attack and being targeted, it, that's what it wants. That's what it wants to do to you. It wants you to react like that. Because then you're trapped. Your life is taken away. Your freedom. So you know what I do? I opt out. I fucking opt out. I come to the forest. I'm opted, I'm opted out, bro. I'm going to find a way to live. Not dependent on anybody else. The government. On anything. You know what I'm saying? The, the land provides. The earth provides. You want to go and live in a city and then bitch about your targeting? Shut the fuck up, dumbass. You want to go and fucking... You're an idiot. Stupid. Change your fucking circum... Oh, I can't? I can't just up and leave my fucking... Well, then you're a victim to materialistic things. You're a victim to the dollar. You're a victim to materialistic things. You're a victim to an apartment. You're a victim to stability or to... Uh, you're a victim to comfort. Motherfucker, jump out of your comfort zone. And guess what? The targeting will stop. Your mental health will fucking stop deteriorating. You'll get better. Because you need to opt the fuck out, buds. And you need to stop bitching and complaining and manifesting more problems in your life. I'm just being real. It might be, you know, offensive. People will fucking will be like, now, oh, he's a traitor. He's an imposter. He's fucking, he gave in to the game. Motherfucker. I'm a survivor. I'm a warrior. My last name means warrior. Try, fucking try and de destroy me. You'll fucking break your own body trying to hurt me, stupid. Break your own fucking hand, wrist trying to punch me. Dumbass. I don't know why it's that way. It just is. That's just how it's been for me. Because somebody favors me. Some entity favors me. And I'm grateful for that. And that's why I try to stay humble and live a humble lifestyle. I used to be an alcoholic. I used to be fucking do drugs, cocaine, ecstasy. I used to sell drugs. I used to kick doors in, rob fucking drug dealers. I got hitters and killers and fucking people that will actually have killed people and got away with it. That want to fucking kill me. It's not a joke. You know. You make enemies when you fucking... Say how, how shit is the way it is. I don't give a fuck about nobody's feelings. Or who, who's going to judge me. Or think I'm fucking crazy because I'm talking about some shit called gangsta. I suck my dick. You know where the fuck my head's at, bitch. I'm fucking smart. You're dumb, bitch. Motherfucker. I'm good. I'm crispy. I ain't falling victim to nothing. The system. The dollar. Drugs. I overcame all of it. Every fucking thing. I'm a survivor. Can't break me. But I fear God. <clears throat> God will take me out if I get too cocky. He will allow the enemy to destroy me or, or put it, put its hand on me to harm me. If I'm in a wrong and if you play with fire, you're going to get burnt. You want to... You wanna... So I still pray to God and I say, God, these are areas, these are things that I'm struggling with and I need your help. I don't want to uh, fall victim to the things you warned me of that sin leads to. Please help me. You know, you pray to God, man. All of a sudden things start changing right in front of my face. And it's just so real that you can't deny it. And then you know that there's a God once you seek him out, man. But anyways, uh, this is just based, this video is based off of somebody that was, I get thousands of messages, thousands of emails for four years now of people just ranting at me. They don't ask me how I am. They don't ask me how I overcame certain things or what can we do? What 
what to do, what to do. They're not looking for that. They're looking to just bitch and complain. They don't want the answer. Because if they get the answer, then there's no more phenomena of them bitching and complaining about their fucking targeting. So it takes all their little fucking fun away in their own little heads. You want to get stuck in that shit? You think it's a game? You better stop fucking around because you're going to get stuck, bitch. And you ain't going to be able to escape that shit. Stop fucking feeding it. Stop feeding the devil. Stop feeding the beast. You know what I'm saying? Fuck me, man. I have fucking more enemies and more haters than anybody I've ever met in my fucking life. I was a rapper. You know what I'm saying? I was a rapper as a young kid, 15 years old. I grew up in a big-ass, hating-ass, fucking violent, fucking evil, sleazy fucking city. Hamilton, Ontario. Population of, like, fucking 1.8 million fucking people. It's, like, 40 minutes from Toronto. Huge populated fucking areas. But anyways, like, bottom line... I've been all over the country. I've seen everything. I've seen it on all fucking levels. People think that they can talk. Motherfucker. You haven't been there. You weren't there. I was there. Where the fuck were you? I didn't see you. I didn't see you in the streets selling crack, coke, fucking kicking doors off, chilling with the gangs. I didn't see you in fucking jail when I was sitting in the court cell. Pussy. You weren't there. You didn't have handcuffs and shackles on. You fuck. Where the fuck were you? All these fucking guys out here... That fucking talk gangster and fucking think that they're fucking rappers at 40 years old. You fucking faggot. You fucking weirdos. Shut the fuck up. You guys, none of you motherfuckers were there. You might have muscles and be jacked and lit and shit, but you grew up in a fucking healthy environment where you could be fucking healthy, physically fit. Where you could even, you might look like a fucking gangster and be able to smash me out physically, but you ain't got hurt. You ain't a real motherfucker, bro. You just act like it, motherfucker. The realness comes from the struggle. It comes from really being out there, really fucking living it, bro. And nobody out here, you know, is really living it like that where I came from. That's why it's ignorant to me to hear these motherfuckers and see them act the way they do and talk the way they do. It makes me fucking sick. But you know what? Whatever. Can't get involved in that either because that'll suck you in and you'll have fucking problems too. Because everybody wants to fucking really, really prove themselves that they're really about it. Even though they only grew up in the suburbs, that's okay. All right, they might kill you. They might shoot you in your fucking face. But that still doesn't make them a gangster. That's gangster by choice. That's not gangster. Gangster by choice. Not When you grow up and you walk out the fucking door and you're 14 you got nowhere to go and you have no parents and no family and you're out there and the fucking OGs collect you and they say, yo, take this pack, go move, go over here and sell that, come back with the money. And you start like that, well, guess what? You're hooked. You're in. You're into the streets for real. And then you live like that. You sell drugs to eat food on a daily basis to clothe yourself. Before you know it, you got a criminal record at 15 years old. You're already fucked. Drug trafficking, possession, you're fucked. You're done, buds. Go ahead and think that you're going to go and have a fucking... When you become an adult and you're 18, you can make your own choices. And you think you're just going to fucking blend into the society and just do well. You're a fucking idiot. All the people that think that are fucking retards. It doesn't work like that. There's trauma, there's emotional distress, there's things that... You're not a normal fucking civilian, bro. Like, if you've been through that shit. Anyways, that's just another story. But I'm just, you know, shit's pissing me off. Like, I get hundreds, fucking thousands of messages, emails for fucking years now. People ranting at me, bitching at me. Shut the fuck up and do something about it, man. It's either going to make you look at yourself and reflect on yourself and look at yourself internally and change you so that way everything else can't fuck with you. There's ways to do it. But you want to hold on to your shit. You want to hold on to your alcohol. You want to hold on to your fucking little apartment in the middle of a fucking city where you can be targeted. And you're dependent on all these things. You need to detach yourself from everything and find a more self-sufficient way to live. And it's not going to be fucking nice the way you think it is. You're not going to have a nice leather fucking couch. You're not going to... But you're, you're also going to be okay. You know? You want to go down with the fucking ship? Go ahead. I'm not. Bro, all these things that we got used to, we think are that's the way of life. Paying rent and fucking living in a city, relying on a market, relying on a government. If it just shut down and shut the water off and the hydro and every fucking, in the whole city, you'd be fucking dead. You can't live. Well, you're an idiot. You set yourself up for fail. You put your faith in man, in man-made things instead of God. Instead of this plant, instead of this earth, you know? This is everything we need. 
we need to come together though there should be it has to be unity and look at the riots look at everything that's happening now we're having results why because we took action and we fought and we fucking made it real and we showed them we're not taking it and the racism and the fucking racist goof fucking cops and a fucking lie. I've been watching videos of them fucking punching little motherfuckers out, smashing them. Bro, I'm so glad I'm not there because if I, I'm telling you, I would be fucking hitting people with a shank this big. I'd be hitting cops with a fucking, bam, <laughs> fucking blood be spraying out. I'd be in there, fuck, bomb, 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 tear gas, every bing, fucking shit bouncing off my head. I don't give a fuck, pussy. I'm out here killing your fucking, fucking, your whole race. Your, not race, your whole, I'm gonna, yeah, fuck the police, their whole race, their whole race, you know what I'm saying, race is fucking race, you know, I don't want to participate in that shit, I'm a fucking white male Caucasian, you fucking idiots, and look at what you're doing, making, making my kind look fucking bad, where I might just get fucking killed for no reason, like, or attacked, or fucking rioted against, because I'm just, because I'm white, because the white man fucking enslaved other races, because you want to be a pussy ass bitch, bully, and bully other races, and bully your way into everything, and extort and steal, you know what, America started that shit, motherfucker, America started that fucking pussy ass shit, the extorting, it was supposed to be a country of freedom, it was never, it was always corrupt, that was the illusion. This is the free land so that we can get everyone there to check in to be a slave and put themselves in a debt so you own them and then they have to build shit for you and fucking establish your what you see the future to be. That was never supposed to be the future. People were born into this way of life and they think this is it. It's not. It was never supposed to be like this. We are supposed to be in unity, living together in harmony. And it's, nobody wants to do anything unless it benefits them. And guess what? That's why the fucking condition of the world is the way it is right now. Selfishness, greed, money, materialistic fucking desires. Stupid. Thing is, I might still buy fucking shoes, $300 shoes. I might still do this and that. But I don't need it. I already went without it. I was degraded to a fucking strand of nothingness. I was already with a big fucking beard and my hair long and I... You know, I always look like a straight fucking permanent homeless person. But I was like, I know myself. People looked at me and they're like, wow, he lost it. He's a bum ass motherfucker now. He's probably a junkie or something. You know? And then they see me, I'm back up again. And they're like, what the fuck, right? Well, that's called resilience, stupid. That's why my name's Corey Resilient, dumbass. And I'll live by it. I'll live by it, man. I have a responsibility now, man. I got other things going on too. That's why I wasn't going to make videos no more. Because like my level of consciousness and understanding of things is so fucking far vastly beyond the average person. That things that I'm trying to do physically to, 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 to advocate for homelessness and all these things. And my experience, it could give the wrong impression. Me even having to talk about shit like this could give the wrong impression. And, 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 and I'm trying to infiltrate the system in 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 their way speaking their language looking like them you know what i'm saying so i cleaned it up you know i went all fucking prep mode i cleaned it up and i and i show face and i come i speak you know i'll come and i'll speak in front of government officials and i'll tell them straight up i'm not fucking scared i'm not stuttering i'm not fucking nervous motherfucker i'm victimized by this shit and i'm here to fight and i'll fucking kill or die for it motherfucker but I have to be politically correct to enter their world to hold them accountable for what they're doing. So I have to play the game. And that's how it goes or else you don't get your way. And there's no result. So get your head on that level instead of fucking playing the victim all the way through. Do whatever the fuck it takes. I had to move a million times. I had to be homeless. I had to live in a bush in a fucking hammock in a tent. And fucking drink water from a fountain 20 meters away. And fucking go to a food bank to go get food to bring back to my tent wooded area so that way I don't have to go to homeless shelters and be around sick people that want to be sick or want to be evil and they think evil's cool and they want to be fucking gangster until I fucking kill them and I go to jail for the rest of my fucking life because I really live that shit stupid I've been out here fucking knocking heads off stabbing people fuck I I yeah I can't even say that I shouldn't be talking like this right now but it's real it's not me just saying it, man. So that's why I'm so passionate. That's why I talk so much on this shit is because I really lived it and did it. And I stayed silent for most of my life because when you're living that life for real, for real, and you really are doing that shit, you don't talk. 
You don't go on a fucking video on YouTube and talk about what you did. Or fucking even... You don't talk. You don't give the ability for anybody outside. The police, your enemies, your ops. To to uh, figure out who you are. What you're thinking. Where you're going. What you want to do. Because they can triangulate on your position. And fucking come clap you if they want to. Or fuck up your plans. So it's not wise to even speak at all. It's It's wise to be silent at all times. And I did. For fucking years. And you know what? Tomorrow's not promised. I'm almost 30 years old. Somebody just died a couple of days ago in the room beside mine, okay? And he was just alive, and I was talking to him, and he just died three meters away from me. And I heard him in his sleep at 427. I was awake, and I heard a scream almost like a, uh, like that from his room. He died like in his sleep of a heart attack or something like that. I don't know, but... Fuck me, man. That's another thing, man. I just want a good life. I just want to be healthy. I don't want to stress. I don't want to fight. I don't want to go to war. I don't want to go to jail. But see, this this, this is an example, man, of, of the battle mentally, physically, spiritually. I just, you know, I just want to be at peace. But I'm being forced into war, and we all are. So get your mind right. Get yourself right, first and foremost, man. And then you can tackle everything else. And that's what I knew I needed to do, man, or else my effectiveness wouldn't be effective, man. So I'm too busy trying to find solutions to complain about my fucking problems right now, man. I'm, I'm past that phase. I need, I need solutions. I need results. Nothing else. I won't even crack. I won't even fucking talk. I won't speak. I won't move. I won't budge unless it's towards the fucking result, the solution. Everything else is irrelevant worthless energy waste of energy so just take that and fucking run with it anything that makes you feel uncomfortable do it if it's if you know it's going to be a good result or even if you don't know for sure but it seems like it would be you know what you have to fail you have to make mistakes to learn from them it doesn't matter don't let people talk you out of you know doing shit because they don't think it's a good idea for you well, that's okay. If it's a mistake, I'll fucking learn from it. As long as it's not going to cost you your life or your freedom, then it's okay to, to make mistakes and learn from them now. But anyways, this has become a really long video. I just wanted to say for the people that are always hitting my inboxes and emails, I'm like, you know, I'm sorry. I'm not trying to not be supportive to, to my people and shit and to people that are suffering in ways uh, from, from the corrupt system and the devil himself. But I, I'm, I'm just trying to find the solutions and, and develop myself in that way. Because I know that's the answer and that's the way out. I tried everything else. It didn't work. Did everything that you guys are doing. I already been there. And uh, I'm not going to... I already made lots of videos about how to deflect frequencies. On how to not be attacked spiritually, demonically, satanically. I made videos about like, bro, the <laughs> ethical hacking. I've been doing that for years. Like there's literally... Okay, so... Car like radio frequencies, right? EMF frequency, all these different frequencies, all these different channels and signals and frequencies that people claim are infiltrating and, 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 and penetrating their fucking thoughts and their brains and shit can be deflected. And you know, even and people are like, oh, what is ethical hacking gonna do? That's what the that's what the demons do. No, bro, you take their tools and use them against them. That's how you defeat them. Or you can just be stupid. It's up to you. Make excuses for being dumb. I smartened my shit up. I got on their level and fucking outdid them on their own shit. That's how you fucking do it, motherfucker. So, there's even, you know, on Kali Linux, on the, on a security penetration testing operating system built for, you know, ethical hacking for, you know, CIA, FBI, you know, organizations like that for, to infiltrate terrorists or whatever, blah, blah. You can use these tools now. Okay? So, just think about that for a sec. You're not even fucking ready for that yet. If you want to be ready, go to, go to my fucking playlist and go to the ethical hacking course that I made for free. People choose to be ignorant. They choose to not put in effort. And just say, oh, it's not going to work. Alright, dumbass. Think that. That's why it's working for me. Dumbass. Sometimes you got to be firm. Say how it is. doesn't matter if it hurts people's feelings or not. It's truth over everything. Your feelings don't fucking matter. They're irrelevant. 
Stop being so fucking sensitive and being a bitch. Man up, huh? Everybody has to. Anyways, I'm out of here. Stay resilient. Don't let the fucking system defeat you. Don't don't let anything defeat you. You know what I'm saying? I said I wasn't going to make no videos. I had a lot of support saying that I should. And then I had some people saying to kill myself and fucking delete my channel. And guess what? <laughs> Those are the guys, the reason why I'm going to keep going, you stupid motherfucker. So now you got to deal with me again for another three years, you fucking punk. That's what you get. Talking shit, bitch. <laughs> so I'm back. Fuck back. Fresh. New perspective. Anyways, yeah. Don't focus on the defeat side of things, even though as real as it is and as true it is, true as it is and how overwhelming it truly is to the point where you can't function, take a step back. You have to change what's going on around you in order to, so you can take have the moment of clarity to see what the next step is to free yourself from the, the entanglement that you're fucking wrapped up into, whether it's your fault or, or nobody's fault or the system's fault or whatever the fuck. It doesn't matter. You can get yourself out of it. There's a way out. Or there's a way to just maintain and stay out of trouble and live a humble fucking lifestyle. But you don't want to make that sacrifice. Because then you can't have your PS4. Or you can't have your fucking cell phone. Or you can't have your Wi-Fi. Or your laptop. Or your nice little leather couch. Or your fucking materialistic shit that you think you need to make you fucking comfortable in life. Fuck off, dumbass. You're, you're, you're fucking bound to the sh fucking shit that doesn't do nothing for you. You're already a goner. If that's your fucking perspective. Don't attach yourself to material things. Don't attach yourself to this world. That's why Jesus Christ said, don't live like the rest of the world. Nobody wants to listen to Jesus. Nobody wants to listen to the Bible. Oh, the big contradiction and fucking... You, Jesus, bro, Christianity is the only religion that's not actually religion. Why? Because Jesus created Christianity. Christ. Okay, what is Christianity? What is that word? Break it down. The first part says C-H-R-I-S-T. Christ. Stupid. Fucking dumbass. The fuck is wrong with people? Jesus made that movement. It was his people, his followers. Man looked at Jesus and his followers and decided to call it a fucking religion. So they could cause more division and chaos and confusion. Then you got all these false fake fucking Christian fake false prophets claiming that they're Christ. But they're raping kids and fucking women and shit. And then that's an example for the rest of the world to see. And guess what? That's exactly what the devil does on purpose. He infiltrates Christianity and says, Hey, I'm a Christian, but I'm doing all this evil. What does that say about Christianity? What does that say about Christ? Yeah, yeah, that's right. Fuck Christ. Fuck. And then they, you turn the whole masses and everybody against Jesus and against the Bible and against the truth. So that way it fucking deprives them of the exact thing that they need to, 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 to free themselves from the fucking slavery that they're in. But no. The fucking deceived ones are going to sit there and say that actually it's the other way around and the Bible enslaves you and it's fucking blah, blah, blah. Well, if that's the case, how come I'm free? Why is it that everybody...